Razer Basilisk V3. Is this an improvement over the original Basilisk mouse? I have the Razer Basilisk Ultimate right here. This has hands down been one of my favorite mice for the longest time now. I'm still using it to this day, every single day. A lot of my friends also use a Basilisk mouse. I just really like the shape of it. Is the V3 an improvement over the original Basilisk mouse design? We're gonna find out today by unboxing this mouse and taking a look what you get inside. I'm genuinely like really excited about this one. Will I switch to this mouse straight away after checking it out after this video? Possibly, all right? As long as they've nailed this one feature, I'm gonna be switching over straight away. So right off the bat, I mean, this is like, <laughs> is this the same mouse? Everything looks so similar. One major change, I say major, it's probably like a minor change that I doubt anyone is gonna notice until we're using like freaking 12K monitors or something. We went from a 20,000 DPI mouse sensor on the Razer Basilisk Ultimate mouse to now an absolutely absurd 26,000 DPI optical mouse sensor, which is just, it's bonkers, mate. Who on earth would need to use 26,000 DPI? I don't know, but you know, maybe you'll, it's gonna give you like that 1% extra accuracy when you're doing them flick shots in Counter-Strike. Another change that caught my eye is Razer have increased the surface area of the PTFE Super Slidey mouse material that they use at the bottom, or on the bottom of most of their mice nowadays, which is fantastic. This is hands down like a very good decision. More is better in this case, at least I would think so. It has Razer's very nice speed flex ultra lightweight cable that is genuinely like really really lightweight good material it's braided that's the whole unboxing let's get this thing plugged in see what this new scroll wheel is all about mate because i think i might be switching over to this one if they've nailed the scroll wheel one thing i've noticed straight away upon plugging this mouse in is look at the rgb it is different all right is this a change that you guys are actually happy with? Let me know in the comments down below because this is a very different approach to the RGB lighting on the Basilisk V3 as opposed to the Basilisk Ultimate right here which I don't even have to like pick up and flip upside down because there are no lights beneath the mouse. Do you prefer the RGB lighting implementation of the Basilisk Ultimate or the newly released Basilisk V3? Will the wireless version of this mouse also come with the same RGB lighting zones on the V3? I'm guessing it will. And to be honest, I'm kind of a fan of this new change. I like the way that you can actually see like an underglow of the mouse. Kind of like what you have with the Razer Huntsman keyboard lineup. This is a welcome change to the RGB. I'm very happy with it, mate. One key difference between the Basilisk V3 and the Basilisk Ultimate is the Ultimate had 14 LED lighting zones, all individually customizable, whereas this Razer Basilisk V3 has a mere 11 RGB lighting zones. This is absolutely unacceptable. I'm, I'm joking, of course, this is, this is, this is fine. Th this is okay, this is okay. One thing I am a little bit concerned about is I currently have three Razer mice plugged into my PC. Uh, let's update Razer Synapse here to, you know, get all the software ready for this new one. I hope having three mice at once doesn't completely brick the software. Hopefully not. I'll, I'll let you know if I blue screen. Three mice at once, Razer Synapse hasn't exploded just yet. We good fam. So with the Razer Basilisk Ultimate right here, the way you would adjust the scroll wheel sensitivity is with another scroll wheel at the bottom of the mouse. You know, you, you use one scroll wheel to adjust the other scroll wheel. It's normal. Uh, so we have a sensitivity resistance setting just there. Hopefully my camera is all focused on it. And you know, you can basically scroll up to make it less sensitive. And then you don't feel the tactile like scroll wheel, you know, bumps as you like scroll whatsoever. And you know, you can kind of like scroll a bit easier and just feel no tactility whatsoever. Or you can scroll downwards on the other scroll wheel and then the mouse wheel has way more resistance and you feel every single scroll on the wheel, which is very nice. Uh, it's good that you have a lot of like, there's a lot of adjustability basically with this scroll wheel on the Basilisk Ultimate, but you adjust it by another scroll wheel at the bottom of the mouse. What they've done with this Basilisk Ultimate is, you know, as you see, there's no other scroll wheel to adjust the other scroll wheel. Instead, it is electronically controlled. Now, right off the get-go, the way it's set up now, I can feel every single one of the tactile bumps. It's not as resistant as the highest setting of resistance on the Basilisk Ultimate. With this one and it being tactile, it's, it's honestly like a really, really good spot where they've put it by default. It's 
you know, you can like quickly scroll without having like a delay because you have to like put some force into the scroll. It's good. It's, it's a good in between. I'm happy with it. And you can still feel every single scroll. Free spin. Oh, dude, I have to get a close up of this. This actually works. What? So I'm going to be free spinning the mouse. Hit tactile, it just stops. <laughs> That's dope. Now let's really try to get some speed there. I'm going to hit tactile. <laughs> it even makes a noise when it stops. It's like, krr, boom, it stops. And it's like back to tactile. Free spin. That's a dope feature. You can distinctly, distinctively hear as it's like free spinning and then you stop it, there's like something that like latches back onto the mouse, scroll wheel. But there's like a noise that it makes. When you're wearing a headset, I think this is gonna be less noticeable because you know, you, you, you won't be able to hear the actual like free spin stopping. Interesting. I mean, this I guess is probably more of like an artificial setting, I would say. That's what I would think. The scroll wheel acceleration would be like mouse acceleration, but just for a scroll wheel instead. Oh, when it is in free spin mode, it's so smooth. It is so smooth, man. Awesome. And this is a scroll wheel that allows you to also scroll left and right by, you know, doing this motion right here. Apart from these scroll wheel settings that we just went over, of course, every single button on the mouse, apart from the left click is programmable. That includes even the button at the bottom of the mouse, which is their profile switcher. You can even reprogram that button to do an enormous amount of different things. As you can see here, if you press on any one of these buttons, even the um, thumb button right here, which Razer call the sensitivity clutch, you can reprogram it to do anything you want. Whether it is volume up, volume down, mute mic, you can make it as like a push to talk button. You can do anything, mate. It's really good. Scroll toggle mode. Switch between free spin scrolling and tactile scrolling. Yeah, this is instant. So the moment you press that button to switch between tactile and free spin, it's instantaneous. Apart from all that, if we head into the performance tab, your usual stuff is here. Five sensitivity stages. Of course, you can drop it to one sensitivity stage or, you know, like two, three, four, five, whatever you want. The X axis can be different than the Y axis. Let's see how precise this sensor can be. Can we do like 3201? Okay, so it's increments of 50. Uh, 51, yeah. So the sensor can do increments of 50 DPI uh, in terms of like the DPI sensitivity stages and how accurately you can set up a specific DPI that you want. Of course, there's also polling rate uh, for lighting effects. Let's max out the brightness, dude, because we're not on wireless. We may as well max it out, dude, why not? This Razer Basilisk V3. I gotta say, I like what they've done. I like the changes that they've done to this mouse. The fact that it is a wired mouse isn't bothering me as much as I thought it would. What I've done is I've, I literally just let the cable hang off of the edge of the desk, which does absolutely ruin all my cable management work. But besides that, besides that one absolutely devastating problem, it almost feels as if I'm playing on a wireless mouse. What they've done with their Speedflex cable, like this cable is so lightweight that <laughs> like straight up when the whole thing is hanging off of the edge of the desk, I barely feel the cable. This almost feels like it's a wireless mouse is because of how light that cable is. I am very much welcoming of their RGB lighting changes to this mouse as well. Whenever I walk up to the setup, especially at nighttime when like all my monitors are off and the PC is like asleep, as I walk up to it, the first thing I notice is this mouse still doing its whole underglow lighting. It just looks so sick. It stands out so much more than something like the Basilisk Ultimate, which also, you know, don't get me wrong, has dope LED lighting on it. It's just that I actually prefer this new Basilisk V3. It reminds me of the Huntsman keyboard lineup with the whole 360 surround underglow underneath the keyboard. Makes me want to bring that keyboard back just to kind of like tie in everything with the whole underglow lighting. Apart from all that though, one final thing I'll mention is of course the new scroll wheel on the Basilisk V3. I really hope that the RGB lighting and the scroll wheel also get added onto the wireless version of this mouse. Like Razer, you better make a wireless version of this Basilisk V3. This scroll wheel in particular, it's now electronically controlled. You can enable a feature called Smart Reel, which I didn't think would work as well until I tried it when video editing, for example, when browsing the internet, when, you know, just scrolling about doing anything on my PC, it actually works way better than I thought it would. I find myself really enjoying this new scroll wheel. 
you can like spin really quickly and it will transition from a tactile scroll wheel to a free spinning scroll wheel without you having to like manually activate the free spinning feature, which you can do by pressing the button below the scroll wheel, which then switches in between free spinning mode and tactile. But if you enable the smart reel feature, it does that automatically based on how you scroll. I'd say like 95% of the time, it pretty much scrolled exactly to where I wanted it to scroll. The moment you want it to stop, it does actually stop. The free spinning doesn't like continue on for another second or two, it just stops. Like when you want it to stop, it stops, which is good. If you want to pick up a new mouse for yourself, hell, this is a good option. Even for the price, this is a pretty decent mouse. You get a sick scroll wheel, awesome RGB lighting, a great sensor. It's like they've, there's like nothing that's been cheaped out on. Just before we end today's video, yes, this mouse does come with your usual Razer sticker pack in case anyone was wondering. And one feature I forgot about completely is Razer have added their second generation optical mice switches onto this Razer Basilisk V3, which apparently have 70 million click durability. They're three times faster than mechanical switches and they also eliminate unintended double clicks. They're laser like activated switches. It's really cool. Kind of like what you'd find in the Huntsman keyboard lineup with every single key switch also being laser activated. Cool stuff, man. And they even have that type of technology in their mice right now. And one final thing before this video completely ends. I'm posting another video tomorrow about this mouse as well, where I actually test the 26,000 DPI optical mouse sensor and the second generation optical mouse switches. I'll put it all to the test. We put it all on the line tomorrow as I play Counter-Strike. I've already recorded that video and let me tell you, mate, we like destroyed everyone in Counter-Strike. It was insane. I don't know if it was down to the mouse, pure luck or pure skill, but mate, I performed incredibly good. You're using this mouse in Counter-Strike. Like it blew my mind. I'm gonna leave it at that. If you wanna go buy this mouse yourself, there'll be dozens of links in the video description to where you can buy this Razer Basilisk either on Amazon, on the Razer store, and of course, if you want to pick up anything you see in this gaming setup right here, like those table legs for your IKEA Linmon table, if you have one of those or any table, you know, these table legs are just table legs, dude, you can just buy them. Or like anything else in the setup, the PC specs, literally everything is in the video description down below. I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.